Hello lovelies and welcome to the video today. So this video is to go with my scrap FX blog post for today and today I am making some card backgrounds. So I've been really into making cards lately, it's, it's quite surprising even to myself, but yeah I've just been really liking cards. I thought I'd make some cards today with some of my favourite scrap FX stamps. So this is a technique that I saw on um, Instagram. Dean, Dina Wakely does this a lot. I've got three colours of paint and I've used my brush to pick up all three at once and then just swiped them onto the page. I'm trying to work with a lot of white space. We know how much I struggle with white space because I just love all the paint and all the ink and all the everything just all over the page. So I thought this would be a good way to start with some um, white space. So yeah, this was a really cool technique. I enjoyed it. I did cut out the part where I put my ink, my paint on my gel plate because I had to go through a fair few paints to find some that were working. I really haven't, I really got to go through my paints. But anyway, so all I did was just swipe that and then dry it. So now I've got two different card bases and I'm using some of my scrap effects stamps to um, make more of a background. Now, if you'd like to know what these stamps are called off the top of my head, I can't get the accurate, the right names. So I will post a link to the blog post and they will all be listed there if you're interested. These are just some of my, my favorites, my go-tos. I have a, um, a drawer with all my scrap effects stuff in it and I open that up and just pull out my favorite bits and pieces to use. So now for one of my focal images on one of my cards, I was going to use these leaves. Um, when I stamped it, didn't come out too great. That was because it already had paint on it and I couldn't tell if I'd inked it up correctly. So then I decided to go get the smaller version of this, which I actually hadn't used yet. So when I inked that up, I could tell if it was inked up really nicely. And um, I was able to get two really good prints out of that. So I ended up fussy cutting those out and using them on um, one of my cards. I'm also adding a bit more stamping with the, uh, what have I got, the dashes. Um, oh, this, this line one, I can't remember what it's called. It's a geometric something I think it's one of my favorites it's just a really as you can see if you have a look at it you can really see how used it is hey um but yeah so I was just adding some more background so as you can see they're sort of the same but they're different so I've used the same colors same ink pads but they've both got a different feel due to the stamps I've used so now I've decided to go with the two smaller leaves and I'm just using my favorite adhesive, a stapler, and I'm just stapling them down. I do put some glue behind the leaves, not completely, so there is still a bit of movement. I just like how organic it makes it look. And also because it's just really easy to staple something down rather than try and glue the whole thing. So to add a little sentiment I guess you could say to the front of my card I've just gone through the pile on my desk of stickers that I have and found one from an out by, out by Marlene pack and then I've just stuck that down and that's the end of that card so that scrap FX drawer that I said I had I put a lot of my leftovers in there that I haven't used on other projects and this is a skater dude chipboard that I painted when I was doing a layout of my son at the skate park and I didn't use it. So I thought it would actually be really cool for this card. It matches really well and I thought it would just make a really great boy card by adding it to the front there. So I've just glued him down. I don't add a sentiment to this. Maybe one day later, if I decide to use it for a birthday card or something, I might add a number or something like that. But yeah, it's just a good starting point. So this is where I added a little bit of something, something. I um, I have, recently I've started cleaning up my art room and I found this fine line bottle that's got black ink in it and it makes really, really great sketchy lines. Like it's, it's a really good drawing tool. And so it was on my desk and I thought I would play with it. So I've just added some black ink to my paint and then also I went over the lines of my stamps, made them look a little more organic, a little more hand drawn and just sort of grunged up the whole card front a bit. And um, yeah, I just really like how it added just a bit of grungy to it. And it also makes it look a little more hand drawn. So now I'm going to add my card bases to a card, I'll add my card background to a base. This is not the way you do it. Don't, don't copy me. I'm lazy. I do it the fastest way possible. Um, I will create my piece first and then just, you know, literally do this, put it on some cardstock, cut around it. Ideally, you should measure your card bases. Always measure, measure first, 
cut last. No, I'm lazy. I um, I put it on my card and then sort of measure around it, fold it in half, and use a dirty bone folder. So you end up with you know, messy cards. But yeah, don't don't follow me. But basically, this is just me attaching my card fronts to a card base and um yeah turning them into cards i'm just using some adhesive to glue those down and that's going to be pretty much it for this project i hope you have enjoyed um watching me make my lovely cards i thought it would be nice to do something different using some of my favorite uh tools though yeah see don't, don't copy me I'm, I'm terrible at this it's not even straight but you know <laughs> it's there yeah don't copy me <laughs> so yeah I just thought um it would be nice to, to create something different with some of my my favorite bits and pieces so I hope you've enjoyed the video uh thanks for watching and I will be back real soon with a new video with some brand new products all right bye for now